Hi everyone, this is just going to be a quick update on how the CPD breeding is going. I did have, there it is, right there. That is sort of one of the uh, medium sized fry. Hanging out in front waiting to get fed. First though, I want to show you a little bit of my winter wonderland that happened overnight. Ooh, so pretty. I've got the CPDs from the quarantine tank in a bag. I've just set them in here in the main adult tank. Um, they're a little colored down right now because they're stressed out for me catching them. You can see the color difference between the ones that are already in here and the ones in the bag. I kept them in quarantine for a little bit longer than I thought I was going to have to. Um, the smallest one uh, that was in the group of six that I bought, <clears throat> excuse me, got like this little bit of fungus near its pectoral fin. So I was treating the tank for that and it just didn't survive the medication. Um, it started looking kind of bad and I would like wait a day, do a water change and not do it. And you're really not supposed to wait a day uh, in between those medication um, dosings. And it would get a little bit better, but like I had to keep treating it and it just, it didn't make it. Um, but they have colored up a lot since I first got them. And I can tell that I have one male and four females in this bag, which is okay um, because my adults, it's a little bit on the male heavy side. Of course, I do have a couple females, but there's quite a few males. So this will be a really good addition to the group. I ended up quarantining them for five weeks. Um, and then I never saw any other, sorry about that bar from the rack. I never saw any other issues from these guys. So I think they are really good and healthy. I have just put them in. I acclimated by adding a third of a cup of water from this tank to the bag for about an hour. Um, and I did that like every, I don't know, 10 minutes or so. So they are the light ones kind of hanging off in the back, but I'm pretty sure they'll color up soon and I won't be able to tell which ones are the new fish and which ones are the older fish. And the new fish have been in here for almost 24 hours. Camera, please. There we go. So, yeah, those light ones there right in front um, are some of the new ones. I did have to turn the light off right away after I put them in because they weren't even in here for five minutes and the males were already bothering the new females. So, and I've just fed them. That's what all this frenzy is about. But they're looking good. That's one of my larger fry there. I really do think they're growing a lot faster and better not being in the nets and just being out in this tank. There's sort of a medium sized one. There, focus on it. No. And then the really small ones tend to stay up toward the top in the back. It's really difficult to catch them on video. Um, I have counted during a water change like 
eight to nine of them in here, which is difficult to tell because unless I see them all in one spot, I don't know if I'm seeing, there's one there on the left. I don't know if I'm seeing the same one uh, twice or, you know, so I have to kind of see like them all in a group to know really because I quit counting. Um, but yeah, there's at least eight or nine of them in here. There might be 10. I don't know. But I think they're doing really well this time. And this one here is about the size they got to last time. Um, right before the ones that got it got the uh, S-shaped spinal deformity. So I'm just keeping my fingers crossed this time that that won't happen again. There's a couple of them in here about this size now. And I will just leave you with some footage of the fry. Thank you so much for watching and I hope everybody is having a great day.